Hi everyone. I'm very excited today because I'm uh, just about to run a reaction myself that's going to be a 100 gram scale. Although my student run this reaction uh, 200, 300 grams, but I thought, you know, my skill is, is, is questionable. So I would do just 100 grams today, okay? And if you look at the, this is the reaction scheme. Basically, we're taking a drug molecule that's ibuprofen, 103 gram. So, okay, and we use only one gram, 1.1 gram of palladium and our magic ligand. And we're using aqueous hydrogen peroxide in water to run this hydroxylation reaction, right, in a very simple flask, as I will show you in a minute. And here is the reaction setup, the apparatus. A very simple conic flask, right, usually. And then we have a mechanic stirrer here. After I add every ingredient, then we will start the stirrer. Here, starting before first. And then this is the potassium phosphate base. And then he here is the ligand. Then the catalyst. Then the next is the solvent. Uh, it's acetonitrile solvent. Okay. Before we add the hydrogen peroxide, actually, we what do we do is we get get the reaction mixture to to get a little bit stirring first to get started first. Okay. As you can see now, five minutes has passed, and the reaction mixture looks a very nice color, almost like a orange juice. And now it's time to then add the final ingredient, which is industrial aqueous hydrogen peroxide, as you can see from this bottle. Perfect, so my skill is still good. It's perfect 150 mil, okay? So I'm gonna add in this slowly. Once you add the water, many of the base now are dissolved, so you get clear. So as you can see, the, the reaction mixture now has been stirred for uh, roughly about 10 minutes. As you can see, the reaction is, is, is very simple to run at a room temperature, and you can tolerate lots of water. It's in aqueous hydrogen peroxide. And the reason we want to highlight this reaction is because uh, during the past 20 years, we have developed many, many CH activation reactions. To really develop a reaction that's as easy as this, it's not easy. Basically, we, well, our aim is to develop a reaction that you can even use for lab teaching or easily to scale up to kilo scale, even ton scale. And if you look at all the parameters of this reaction, it's a room temperature, it's open to air, and you use aqueous hydrogen peroxide. So all those parameters really meets the requirement for larger scale production. Okay, so we are very excited about this reaction and hopefully we'll bring more and more this type of reaction to, uh, to, the, to the community. As I said, I'm just adding all the 100 gram starting material catalyst magic ligand into the reaction flask. But the real hero behind this reaction, of course, is these two are the heroes who invented the catalyst. And I hopefully uh, they will invent even more in the future.